Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis Biluso, I'm a producer, songwriter, mixer from Argentina and today I want to teach you how to use the loopback function on your two channel audio interface that will allow you to record tutorials or to do streaming. This is very handy if you want to use your two physical inputs on your audio interface I'm going to use the Arturia Mini Fuse 2, which is quite a cheap audio interface, so many of you might have it. Or if you have another one that is quite modern, you will realize that it probably has the same function. So this video will be good for you as well. So the concept behind this is that we want to record the physical inputs plus everything that's been reproduced in the computer, like YouTube or Spotify or, or a video reproduction app like VLC or something like that or if you want to reproduce what's happening in your door like I use Pro Tools you could use Ableton Live or whatever you want but you can record that out output through the loopback system. I'm going to do it on Mac but feel free to get the manual out for Windows but the concept will be the same so follow me through on this video and of course please this channel is quite new and I really need your support so if you like this kind of videos hit the subscribe button it's, it's completely free I'm going to be teaching everything I know about music production and mixing and songwriting so you don't miss any videos so if you like this video as well give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment I'll be reading everything so mainly we have two options of routing we can route whatever we are reproducing on the computer, like in a web browser or on an app on our computer. And the second option is to record what's happening inside of a door, our digital audio workstation. So for the first option, what I want to do is go into system preferences in Mac and choose sound. And I have to go into output and choose Minifuse 2. That will tell the computer that we want to use our audio interface, the Arturia one. So the second step is to go to audio MIDI setup and we're going to choose our Mini Fuse 2 and we're going to and we're going to click on the button that says configure speakers. So we click on that and we have to choose for our left speaker, we're going to choose loop back left and for our right speaker, we're going to choose loop back right. We're going to click apply. So now everything I'm going to reproduce from my computer is going to be recorded. Now, to be able to record this, I, for instance, use Reaper and I go into my Reaper session. And I have two channels open. One is for my microphone that you can see right here that is being recorded straight into the input of the interface. I could have more channels, as many as my interface allows. In this case, it's only two, so I could record a friend, if a friend is with me and we want to record two microphones, we can record a microphone and a keyboard, a microphone and a, and a guitar. You can use your imagination, you can do whatever you want. So we have to select one channel, this will be a mono channel and we choose mic line instrument one. And then on the second channel that's going to be called loopback, we're going to select input stereo loopback left, loopback right, and that will record everything that's being played back in the computer. So we have to arm to record the channels to be able to listen to what we are playing. So if I click on this song, that is a song of mine that you can check out in the description. We can see that it's being recorded and we can listen to what we are playing. Cool. Now, what if we want to record what's happening in our door, our digital audio workstation? So let's hop on to Pro Tools. The reason why I was using Reaper before, it's because I normally use Pro Tools. So I want to record my microphone and I want to record what's happening inside of Pro Tools. I'm hitting play, record, stopping, and I want the output of that to be recorded. So I use two different digital audio workstations to be able to accomplish that. I do Pro Tools and my microphone and Pro Tools is being recorded into Reaper. So first in Pro Tools, we have to make sure like in setup playback engine that we have selected our Mini Fuse 2. Then we're going to go into setup IO 
inputs and outputs. Under output, we're going to select default and that will open up our two stereo channels. So we have four, we have two physical and two digital ones. So we're going to select OK. Now I have a session open of my good friend Umram Syed, that is a client from the US, a very good rapper. This is a record I'm mixing right now. So I'm going to go to my main instrumental bus and I'm going to select the output, loop back left and loop back right. Once I selected that, I can hit play. So that's being recorded into the computer. Yep, that was easy. Now you understand how to do both options. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share it with your friends, get cracking. Let, let me know how it went with you. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll make sure I'll try to answer everything I can. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your thumbs up and comments. I'm Louis Piluso. I'll see you next time. Cheers.